this new heart box is headed off on a test drive. The unit is designed so that donated hearts keep beating during their journey to transplantation, hopefully leading to more successful transplants and reducing the shortage of donor hearts. In the United States, about 4,000 people are listed for a heart transplant every year, but only 2,500 are able to have the surgery. Because of that disparity, we still have about 17% of patients who get listed for transplant, for heart transplant, who die on the waiting list waiting for an organ. Alongside the new high-tech unit is a plastic cooler, here as backup. It's how donor hearts have been transported for decades. But a heart can only be stopped and transported on ice for a short period of time if it is to be successfully transplanted. As the heart leaves the operating theatre, still pumping blood, the medical team is happy. The heart's looking great. As you can see, it's maintaining good uh, contractility and um, it's uh, performing very well. So we're, doing, we're in really good shape. The unit has been tested on flights up to 11 hours. On the journey back to Seattle, the heart is closely monitored to make sure it is in the best possible condition for transplantation. The only time it stops beating is for the few minutes just before it is transplanted. So having a uh, transport pump to preserve the heart function allows us to better match the hearts to the recipients so that more of the hearts that are being donated can actually be used and implanted into recipients. Once the surgeon reconnects the patient's arteries and veins to the newly transplanted heart, the blood supply is restored and the heart starts to beat again. It's a development eagerly followed by the person in charge of transplantation logistics in the Pacific Northwest. I absolutely think it's a great opportunity to improve the preservation technology for hearts and other organs and will only stand to benefit patients in need of replacement organs in the future. But he and the surgical team in Seattle are also very clear that more people registering to become organ donors would make an even greater difference for those awaiting heart transplants.